podcast and it's easy. But we easy got going. it. We it's, got it yeah, so. but it's fine. We got it sorted. It's all good yes, here. Yeah, SDN and Yoni, they're ready to go. But uh, to pick up your point that you made earlier, we see a Greninja oh. from Yoni. So no, no uh, Lucario. No. And I think that is smart here from Yoni because recognizing that, yeah, as I said, not only does the damage pile up really mm -hmm. quickly, but the kill confirms that Ike has are so effective at taking stocks yeah. early that you don't really get to that aura point where you want to be like reliable. Exactly. You know? Maybe, maybe. I mean, think about yesterday. Yesterday, SDN played in the uh, uh, doubles finals against oh, Tarek, yeah. and Tarek switched from Kazuya to Greninja, and Greninja worked really out yes. well to uh, edge guard uh, uh, Ike, and maybe Yoni also thought, okay, maybe this is the better matchup at this point. Uh, I wasn't aware that Yoni had a Greninja, but I, wow. love, I love to see it, I have yes. to say. Um, a little bit of secondary action is always appreciated, but for sure. Uh, and I... Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, go ahead, man. Sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> okay, sorry, man. Um, because SDN has a lot of experience in Ninja. We saw it again, again, again. So, mm. and it's now it looks really in the favor of SDN, but yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, what I what I really like uh, for uh, Yoni here on the Greninja is the ability to uh, deal with Ike recovery. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's really hard to mess with because you can choose between quick draw, mix up the timing of that one. Are you going high? Are you going to the ledge? Are you going for the hit on the player? Or are you going to go for the ether and just drift in? But uh, with the uh, Hydro Pump specifically, uh, it is a very nice tool to just you know, gimp the Ike. Exactly. But so far it really has been SDN here just getting on the damage here on Yoni, getting the kill confirmed as we saw earlier too. And now he's still keeping it going here. SDN now finally getting hit by Yoni here, but with that big discharge with the four that's coming down to the ground, really hard to mess with for Yoni. Yeah, it's really interesting. We saw it grow. SDN has now so little slowing it a little down. This mm. is also what I uh, recommended yesterday. Um, I saw SDN is just a very patient yes. player. He yes. has nerves of steel. So he's like, like he's really like um, not like a rage berserker with Ike. So he's really slow. He knows his, uh, Ike is a really slow character, and he's waiting for the openings. So and nice. the effort. Lovely. Yes, yesterday he had so many effort because he's standing ledge. Just mm. doing one step and effort you out. So he does it really, really well. Look what when you what what is your option when you come up and he is so consistent with the f tilt and there's a lot of micro spacing on that one as well yeah. like he's it feels like he's always at the right distance where you can't hit your get up attack you can't hit, uh, hit your roll because he's going to catch that as well it's it's insane the place about yoni of course getting the stock right there with that forward air getting a stock on the board here but is that going to be enough like i feel like the primary objective for Yoni here has to be to get SDN off stage and then deal with him because on stage it's been only SDN so far. Exactly. So he really uh, wins most of the neutral interactions. We see yeah. it time and time again. He, Yoni has a really hard time to get near uh, SDN. He, I mean, you see now his one stock lead, 116% on Yoni's side and only 25% on SDN. So he plays, plays really, really, really good. Right? And also look, okay. he's really very, very relaxed. Now SDN, you can see, yeah, he's just waiting. SDN, oh. as you said, like a player with ice in his veins, and he is connecting that back air, getting the first game. And, you know, I, I know the guy a little bit personally mm -hmm. too, and he's just a very chill guy, like in general. Yes. He's, uh, he's a great guy to hang out with, for yeah, sure, but he's very, you know, what? centered, I would say. Um, and he's really translating that into the game, you know, just staying mm -hmm. cool, staying collected, um, and going also for these... Uh, very level-headed mix-ups. You know, you get your confirms, you get it once, you get it twice, you get it thrice, and then afterwards your opponent will try to escape it. And so he just waits. You know, he just waits for you to do anything. And punishes accordingly. Exactly, exactly. So th this is uh, really good. So we see, now we'll see if Yoni can adapt to this playstyle really well. And like you said, also uh, like you said, also when I may recommend it, um, recommend, not recommend it, um, um, I don't know. It's fine. Just give it. <laughs> just give it. Just he's going to go to his, his uh, aura is really chill. He's yeah, like really like is. a chill guy. So he's really relaxed. Look at also his lean back. So always when he's played. So some players are really um, more tight and going front. Yes. And, but he's always relaxed, leaning back. You also so. see his facial expression never changes. Yes, really, <laughs> he's like really like I like said, he's like an iceberg. He, he really is. And, uh, it, it's a good thing in this. You can see. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. I love to see it right there from Yoni. He's trying to go for those hydro pumps. He's trying to go for yeah. one more right there. There as well, but SDN with that air dodge is so good. If you have to recover low and you don't want to, uh, you know, commit to that ether, which can put you in a vulnerable position, especially if Yoni is on stage with that hydro pump, mm -hmm. he's gonna air dodge and he's gonna be fine because he has the invincibility to snap to that. But, but it's also a 
really good layer awareness, so he really um, watching you. What is the other person doing? Where's, nice. What is his positioning? What can I do in this situation? So and yep. he don't overshoot it. He don't is uh, too hectical. So really, really good. And seems like here on Hollow Bastion, the center platform definitely working out for Yoni, using it to set up this uh, up smash to get that early kill, relatively early kill on SD. Yeah, one hundred twenty-four against the Nike is. It's uh, early, but I'd say it's normal it's, actually. It's, it's, yeah, no, it's, it's early, but for Kulincha. Yeah. So okay, but we have you is coming. Uh, Blaze more confident now. Uh, last game he mm. was really uh, could, uh, don't know what to do. He's now taking his space and said, "Okay, you must approach me. I take my water shoe can. I have a projectile. You right. don't have one. I just use my tools what I have." I wonder now though, like SDN has not really been messing with Yoni off stage. He's really been playing on stage for the last game and for this game too. But now that Yoni has taken more command on stage, will SDN try to go off stage and contest him there a little bit more? Mm. It's going to be interesting to see if he elects to go for that, if he's going to try to uh, force the on stage gameplay basically on Yoni, if he's trying to just uh, make that work again. Because so far Yoni has been really adapting quite well, you know, exactly. using the uh, jump behind there with the grab as well. But that's going to be the spike confirmed into the up air, the platform helping out on that one just with the height here for STM. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, and we got a uh, no, it was a back air. Sorry, I, I was yeah. I, back air coming. Like because the, uh, normally the back air is a stronger move, but uh, for Grincha, I think the fair is a stronger move in this exact. Uh, in terms of not back, yes. Uh, yes. In terms of edge guarding, no. Right. Uh, edge guarding back air is absolutely. But the, 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 the knockback is stronger from the fair. For sure. Grincha with the water sword, so it does really well. Okay, the Grincha combo is coming up. And he don't drag down. Oh my god, this is. Oh, hey, what, what was this Madlet read? That god was damn insane. it. Okay, I mean, <laughs> trying to even get a gimp afterwards to just finish off this game because SDN, as long as he's still alive, you know that Ike is like this explosive character. You can get those combos on the platform too. And SDN, he's going to learn, he's going to learn, he's going to adapt, but he's getting caught by the water shoe. He can now fully charge off, off stage as well, the up air, just to keep the advantage going. The hydro pump once again missing. But SDN, he finally got out of the corner, but he's taken so much damage for it. Oh, misses the crab, and now is the chance for SDN to come back here. But you can't pull it up because it's looking really, really well for Yoni. He has really playing very good. Well, sorry, I'm. He's playing very well. I'm, indeed, I'm, a little bit, yeah. I'm a little bit hyped myself. He's so playing this super game, well. He's playing super well. He's really playing. Oh, oh is, that, is it enough? No, it's not enough. Okay. Not across the whole stage. Not even quite sure by oh the my God, stage, no, But there it is. it is the Hydro Pump. There is the game that Yoni uh, was looking yes. for. This is why he's picked the character. And that was uh, the situation where SDN was forced to go for the Ether. And that is the one time that he got punished for it. He didn't have the distance for the air dodge, so he had to go for it. Uh, because I don't think he had a double jump there. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, good stuff, good recognition by Yoni to go for that and uh, to secure himself that second game. But this was really, really inter interesting because in the first game it was really in the favor of SDN. He had a yeah. whole control of the game, the momentum, wa momentum wa was oh, with him. Yeah. And the second game it was more for Yoni, exactly. So it was really a switcher ruin this time. Oh my god, this track. Yes, it's a banger track. I mean, when the track came out, everybody listened to it, so it's a little bit quiet down, but now we can have it back. It's and still good. It's, it's every time. It's good. <laughs> it's still a good. It's a banger track. Just. So I uh, love it. And of course, uh, we're going to get here into this very pivotal uh, third game. Because you can't forget, Yoni at Sandbank could also counterpick through the Lucario. If he feels like if he feels like this Grinja is not working out, he can go for it. And if he can pair that with a counterpick of the stage as well, that could potentially be huge. Exactly. So both these players are trying to secure this third game. Yeah. For example, sometimes people also play a character to also... Um, um, Feel out the other character yes. to want to adapt to uh, want to have the reads. See, okay, what is the play style, and then the other person must adapt back, and so you can have this advantage a little bit for yourself. Yeah, if you uh, if you pull up the Lucario in the last game, maybe Estin doesn't have enough time to adapt potentially, but uh, exactly. we'll see if we come to that point yes. in the first place because Estin right now is playing this incredibly well here once again on small battlefield. But you now having this Estin in disadvantage though, but good air dodge to the platform, landing early as well, making him able to pull up the shield in time. What? And this is very interesting that at the end. Oh, but this kill, we got it F tilt again. Yeah, so again. He, he's just famous for his great at F tilt. He know when he hit and pull the trigger and on that. But I also like, because normally it's really hard to land with Ike, especially against a character like Ninja, but SDN does it really well. Yeah, he's, uh, he's really using just the, the, as you said, the safety of the moves to just pull up the shield very quickly. 
and then just wait for Yoni to do something and punish afterwards. Yes. There, the uh, down tilt was a little bit too safe. The SN trying to punish that with a, with a grab out of shield. That's a little bit too slow on that one. But still, you know, you can see like the spacing using using this big sword just to really just have a hitbox in between him and Yoni. And if it hits. You're gonna get a combo, you're gonna get a lot of damage, oh. and the okay, no. okay, it still gets, still gets oh, I, I, good. I forgot he that. Gets, he gets the hit to get the damage, right? But if you miss, you're still good because your area is so safe. Everything that Yoni tries to do to punish you, you're gonna get around it. Exactly. Uh, for this moment, moment, I was scared, but then I forgot, oh no, Predinja's recovery is really good, so he don't want to die for that. Well, in terms of distance, it's pretty good, but uh, you know, no hitbox is uh, dangerous for sure. The, especially with SDN has tried a lot to get those up, uh, sorry, those down airs through the uh, main platform there on the edge, and it might work here again. Yoni has to find these angles to not get hit by that, and SDN now with the clean stock lead here. You can see that Yoni is trying to slow down the game, but charging oh, the water through, can a little bit ill-advised. The SDN just flying towards him. Okay, misses here the uh, nice. misses here the connection, but oh, the dash attack misses. He was a little bit too far behind, but you will see about to, uh, you only can pull it off now because he's really a little bit behind against, especially against the Ike. I mean, we saw it. Uh, um, you, you can gimp it really fast with Ike, but it's really uh, different. Oh, but there's oh. off edge. Okay, he still the had action. his jump there, SDN. So good as a saving his jump at the startup of the ether, interrupted by the grab. And look at that trajectory change here from Yoni on the hydro pump here on the quick draw. SDN actually quite lucky to still make it back on stage. And the jungle's still coming through from Yoni, getting SDN quite high, but not finishing off the stock. The damage is nice, but you have to finish this stock if you don't. If SDN gets one or two more confirms on you, that's gonna be danger. Oh, he gets oh, one, he gets the down tilt. Edge. Forward air coming through 102% F tilt. Back air. All of these moves will <laughs> like do it at this point. Like, like, we know the kill power of Spike and with his big hard sword. He's like, okay. oh, but there's also the kill from Yoni. This was really important to stay in the game. So maybe Yoni can make it from Oh, nice he can't and he, yeah, I wanted to like say the, the like very classic SDN weight. He threw him up. Usually that's almost true into the forwarder. You can get some punishes off it. But he just waited for Yoni to drift a certain way, to press air dodge, and just got the up air afterwards. So SDN now getting that third game up to one has the counter pick safety and makes it harder for Yoni to maybe counter pick on his own. We will see if he elects to do so, if he's gonna stick with the Greninja, or if he's gonna switch to the Lucario here. Mm -hmm. He's gonna he's yeah, he's leaving us hanging, but it's, no, he's <laughs> he's gonna make it, <laughs> making it exciting, you know, but it is still the Greninja here. Yoni's sticking with it. Yeah, like maybe he thought, he thought about it, maybe. So he might have, he might have. He might have. But we only going back to Holo Bastion, really worked out really well in the game before True. that. Yeah. So maybe we can see if we can do it back, or if SDN is prepared now and say, Okay, in the first game, in the second game, you got me on Hollow Bastion, but now I'm going to adapt, and it's really harder for you to win. Now we will see if that is the case. If Estian has, you know, brought enough experience from that second game here into this fourth one to maybe deal with whatever is Yoni is looking for here on the Hollow Bastion. So but far, it is Yoni really just, you know, having the pressure really between the, like below this platform, which is also fairly large. It is fairly hard for SDN to get in with these, uh, with these aerials because you have to hop right, and then you kind of get intercepted by the platform a little bit. Sometimes it can be uh, hard to deal with, but SDN still connecting these moves. Dangerous there with the down tilt, actually getting the two frame on Yoni and looking oh for the down air. And this is what he's looking for the whole time, getting the spike. SDN just turning that whole game around. Like on a moment's notice with that spike and getting himself the stock oh, lead. He needs to go for so you can see the spike <laughs> the spike to try again. So we really, really great play from SDN. He just saw two chances and he used it really, really well. So Yoni fight it had the stage control, but one two interactions and SDN just turned around it and is now in the stock lead. And that spike is hard to hit. Like that is not an easy no, to hit it's, spike. It's really it's hard. So it's so thin. And also recover from Trincha is, is, is also really fast. Yeah. So it's not quite quite fast like is he going to go for it again? No. Nope. He's going to go for the down tilt two frame here. SDN is still preparing. Ooh, He's waiting the out the counter. Lovely with him as he just takes so patient. Like this, this is SDN in a nutshell. It's oh. so clean. It's oh man. I, I gotta say, we, I'm really looking up to SDN. I love this. Guy. I, can, I can really I totally understand it, but he, he it's, it's a reason. All right, he's going to come through here with the ether, just stalling a little bit there. With the ether. of course using the you know invincible using the armor and then also retreating back to the ledge. You see how that goes. Oh, lovely high catch. The yeah, lovely catch there did, from did, you. Did, just calling that out really. It's just yes, a raw really. hit there. 
<laughs> but it, I really like if he pressured him, he go out stage, yeah, he goes off stage, he saw it, he, this, okay, this is my chance, I must pressure him, I know the recovery from, I said, but I'm looking forward to it, if he nice. tries this the next time, and STN has to stalk you down, we know what he does, we know what he does with the He's up going up to go for he, these he, He's going for it. He's, he's dragging you down uh, with I him. think Yoni, ho hopefully Yoni's aware of that, and um, maybe he can bait it all for out. Yeah, there might be a thing where he's, uh, where he's uh, like, if you see SDN drifting towards you off stage, then you might be able to recognize that he's trying to go for that uh, ether, uh, like suicide drag down. Exactly. Uh, but if you can maybe then get a hydro pump out in time to just get him away I from you. Or, or just the air, air dodge, uh, anything. Away from it, yeah. Yes. That could be a thing, but maybe SD is not even going for it, but just so far it's working quite well. But oh my god, that's not easy enough! Oh yes, yes it oh is! Oh my god, what a wait on the air dodge and just on the platform placing that forward smash. What a finisher so. to the set! And that is SDN making his way into top 8 loser side. What? My goodness. What a great finish. Oh counter, my god. The counter pick for Yoni and that SDN so used it just for his, himself. Yeah. He just did it. He used the platform this time for himself. This, like That's you said, this, this crazy weight with the with the F smash. Yeah. He just waited it out. He Man. pressured him. So.